Hey guys, it's Lee. Um, today I just wanted to share with you guys the stuff that I bought at PAX South this past weekend. If you don't know what that is, it is a huge anime, not anime, oh lord, I knew I was going to say that, a huge video game expo and it was in San Antonio when usually it takes place on the east or west coast. So this was the very first time, it was called PAX South. It was the very first time it was not on one of those two coasts, so a whole new group of people that normally wouldn't be able to travel to those got to go to a PAX. So I went, and it was amazing, but instead of talking about my experience, I'm just going to talk about the stuff I got there. So I'm going to start with the tiny things. Um, as you guys may know, I got that amazing 80s vintage jacket. Um, and I decided I wanted to start collecting pins to put on it. So there was a booth, and I got these pins. I'll just show them quickly, because there's, how many? Twelve of them? So there's the little guy from Mario, the little square. There's the comp companion cube from Portal. There's the smiley from, from, oh, it looks like my eyeball. From Watchmen. This was the one that really caught my eye first because I love that comic. There's a heart piece or a piece of heart from Zelda. There's the Zelda or the Hyrulean shield pin. There's this adorable one that says, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. It says two girls one up, which is just adorable. It has Daisy and Peach on it. There's this bomb. I think it's the sticky bomb from... I can't remember if it's a sticky bomb, but from Smash Brothers games. Also from that series, there's the Smash Ball logo. And then there's a Star Fox one. Then there's a Pokeball. I'm not into Pokemon as much now, but when it first came out, I was all in it. So I figured I would get that one. There's this awesome Franklin badge one from the Mother, I never know whether to call it the Mother Trilogy or the Earthbound Trilogy of video games. Amazing, that's one of my favorite ones. And this one looks awesome, it's one of my favorites as well, the Boo from Mario. And then those were a dollar each, and when you buy five you get the sixth one free. So of course I went back and got six more the next day. And then I wanted to talk a little bit about this pin that I got. It's an awesome meaty type of flexible material. And this is a, an awesome, this is the logo of an awesome organization called Take This, um, which is all about advocating and helping people, the gamers that have mental health issues. Because I was told that, um, about one in four people um, suffer from some form of mental illness throughout their life, but that number is actually higher for gamers, sometimes as high as one in two. So this was just an amazing charity that I was glad to donate to, and I got this awesome pin. It's from Zelda. The um, their, their logo on their shirts is, it's dangerous to go alone, take this, for the little helpful or healing items that you get in a game. And then the other tiny things I got were dice, and I'm just going to collect these to collect them. I don't play tabletop games, but they're beautiful, and they reminded me of the marbles that I collect, and the rocks that I collect, and stuff like that. So I got 10 dice. This is one of my favorite type of colors right here, like this color, the seafoam green type color. There's that one which is kind of a more foggy one. This one's less foggy and has more blue in it. These were amazing. This is a tiny, tiny fraction of the dice that they had. Again, it has, this one's more blue, but it has green sparkles in it. This one's amazing, a 20-sided die, pink with bluish iridescence in it. This one's clear with blue-green blue, blue green iridescence to it. 
This lighting is really working out better than I thought it would for these tiny little for these tiny little dice. This one's magenta sparkly. Let me see if I can get the light. Yeah, red sparkly. This one looks like kind of like cat's eye and turquoise, so I really like that color combination. And for each of these, this is only one color of the like for this one, it's like a foggy red, but they had tons more of this shape of dice, but there was blue and green and purple and gray of this style. So it was just amazing. And the f finally the baby one, this tiny little dice is so cute. Um, those, I got 10 of them and they're just beautifully made. And I'm definitely starting my collection of dice now. And for 10 of them, I believe it was less than $15 total. So I thought that was pretty good. And now to the bigger things. First of all, I don't know if I should show this because it's a present, but I'm going to show it anyway because look. Look at the baby. It's baby Bimo from... From Adventure Time, of course, as you probably know if you don't know, Adventure Time is an amazing show that you should go watch. Bimo, adorable, nice, squishy, nice size too. Um, plushies can be pretty expensive, and this little girl was $18, which really isn't that bad. And plus she was a present, so I didn't mind spending extra. She, she sits really cute, like she sits up if you want her to, little feet sticking out. Adorable little gaming system, BMO. Adorable. So sweet. So cute. Um, and the last two things I got were shirts. And this one is from an anime called Fully Cooly. And there's the logo. It's an amazing, surreal anime that only has four episodes, so it goes by really fast. There's the logo, and then on the bottom of the shirt, it has this. Little girl with cat ears, smoking or giving a light to a robot with a TV head. And he's not really saying much, he's like, uh, okay, I'll take it, I guess. And just the colors were amazing on this. And I've wanted a Fully Cooly shirt for ages, so this is a size medium. And this was $20, which again was a pretty good um, price. It's a very soft, high quality feeling shirt, 100% cotton. And it's just, it's so cool looking, I had to get it. And then the big ticket item that I got was, it's from an, a show called Bee and Puppy Cat, which I've never seen, but now I have to see it. Um, I heard it was on YouTube. It's from the company We Love Fine that has adorable clothes. I don't know if you can read that it says Bee and Puppy Cat. And it just has, it has the puppy cat, I'm assuming. That's the puppy cat with a bell and eggplants. Are those eggplants? Yeah, they're eggplants, I think. And I love how pink and yellow look together. And as you can see, it was a size 2X. And it was the biggest they had, and it fits me. And I'm just so happy about this because I am lacking in my wardrobe of something this adorable and feminine. I need to, now I need to find clothes to go with this because I have nothing cute enough to go with this. So. This was $40, which is a lot more than I would normally spend, but it was just calling to me and I was afraid the size was going to run out, but I'm sure it did. And it's the see-through, not silky, but like dressy material. And yeah, this was the, the last thing I got. The buttons are white and shiny and stuff like that. So... It fits really well, even the arms fit well, and yeah, that was the last thing I got. Besides all the free, the free swag that I got, which 
I was gonna make a video about that, but I don't know if I am. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, did any of you go to PAX? Um, do you want to go to PAX? It was amazing. Even though I'm not a hardcore gamer, I still had so much fun. More fun than I usually have at conventions or expos or whatever. So I would highly recommend it. And I guess that's about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe or follow me on any of my social media. It's I, I love you on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And I guess that's it. Um, thank you for watching. I already said that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon hopefully. And yeah, bye.